Okay, guys, so we're back here with uh, Matthew Silverberg talking about how he's a coward. And it's because he, what, doesn't want to fight in a war that Odessa yeah, wanted to fight in? He doesn't want to go back into war anymore, and and uh, his sister Odessa was like, you're a wuss. Yes, that's what she was like. Um, yes, I am a coward. I would rather be called a coward than have to bear seeing that awful sight again. Even if it means being rejected by my own sister. Awful sight. Watching people die from my own actions. Friend and enemy alike. But today, I have realized something. Even if I close my eyes, the world will not disappear. Now on, I will strive for what Odessa was striving for. Well, that was a pretty quick change of heart. I'm kidding. You'll accept this earring, then? What does the earring represent? I don't know. Uh, the earring? You should keep this. But Odessa... I believe she wanted you to have it. Ooh, I get a lady's earring. I am a talented military surgeon, but hardly the type to lead the Liberation Army. But you, Smappy, however, are a born leader. I'm sure Odessa realized that. Oh, we're back to the capital U again. Apparently so. That's why she wanted me to meet you. Please accept this earring and live out your destiny as leader of the Freedom Fighters. <laughs> the Freedom Fighters. Okay. A liberation Army sounds way better. I'll okay. do it for the sake of time. You know, we better like come up with a better name. I think. You we know, will. For the army. Don't worry. I'll think of a better name. Yeah. Um. Thank you, Smappy. From this moment on, you are the leader of the Liberation Army. Sweet. Like just this morning, I was. You know, totally. Oh, I guess. What like was I doing we this were, morning? <laughs> yeah, yesterday we were hunting bandits, and today we're. You know. <laughs> Henceforth, I shall call you Master Smappy. You should have been calling me that from the start. <laughs> Why aren't we uppity? <laughs> Grimio, Cleo, what will you do? Well, I mean, Grimio and Cleo call me Master. A young Master. Oh, yeah. You won't be able to return to the Empire. Wherever you go, I go, young master. Master Tio will forgive me, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll think that. Me too. I've just had it, just about had it with this corrupt empire. Even though Shinnin was corrupt like last week. <laughs> master Smappy, as your military surgeon, may I offer my first piece of advice? To revive the Liberation Army, we must recruit volunteers. People who are dissatisfied with the empire. And to do so, we need a headquarters. Ooh. You're right. Too bad the hideout at Lenin Camp burned down. It. How do you burn that down? It was a sewer. And wasn't it intact when we left? Yeah. Whatever. I'm thinking of something much bigger. A place that can withstand an attack by the Imperial, Imperial Army. There's an abandoned castle in the middle of Lake Toron that I believe would be perfect for our purposes. Why don't we make for Kaku, a town on the shores of the lake? Okay. Aren't you coming with us, Matthew? I must prepare for the move. And I'll have to give the children a year's worth of homework. Ooh. <laughs> That's just rough. Why not head for Kaku and cross to the castle of Toron from there? Alright, so I guess that's where we're going to go next. Hmm, interesting. I don't think we have anything left to do in this town. Let's just head west. Ooh, what's that? It's a rock. Let's fight it. I've Ow. never seen a rock that can fly. Not that kind of rock. Oh, okay. Well, unless somebody throws it. If somebody throws it, it can fly. Yes, I suppose. Or if we redefine flying as fo floating, then you throw like one of those little pieces of pumice into a, a you know a river or something. It floats, so you can Ooh. say it's flying. If we redefine flying as floating, floating. A blacksmith. Let's see if she can uh, do any better on our weapons. No. Ah, oh, shucks. Say, oops. Say what? Take you to Torn Castle? You must be kidding! There are monsters there! Hmm. Oh, look at Kitty. Kitty! I, whoa! I don't know if that's gonna catch on the frame rate, but that's pretty cool! Uh-huh. Ooh! Meg! 
big. Who are you all? Wait. Liberation Army? Then you're fighting the Imperials. Hee. <laughs> you know what? I played this game so many times, and I just realized that the green on her her chin is her hands, her gloves. I thought it was like some kind of part of her outfit at the top. Like a roughly thing or something? Yeah. Neck? I'm. This is cool. I discovered something new. Yeah, she's kind of like has her hands up in glee or something. Yeah. So, anyways, it's Meg. Aren't we supposed to tell her to go home? Yeah, let's tell her to go home. But she's busy looking for someone, so she won't go home. Maybe you know him. His name is Jumpo. He's my uncle, and he's a trickster. Hmm. Okay, so she won't go home until she finds her uncle. So this is starting to get annoying. So this is sounding like a like a trade quest here. Yeah. Go fetch quest. We don't need to stay. We haven't used any magic, and yeah, we're good on HP. Should be fine. How about you? Got anything good? A holy crystal. We don't have one of those. Let's buy a holy crystal, because we don't have That's one. That's dash. Uh, I want to say it makes us run real fast. I don't ever use this crystal, so I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. Is there a rune master in town? Castle of Torn? You're the home of the fog monster? Only a fool would go over there. Uh, there's no rune master in town. Oh, shucks. Let's teleport to a town where there is. Um, okay, looks like we can buy some stuff, so we're gonna pause real quick and take care of our armor. Uh, cool. Be right back. Okay, guys, so we took care of our armor and uh, our items and stuff. Woohoo! Oh, nobody in there. Let's talk to this guy. Give me a break, will ya? The only one with enough guts to go there is Reckless Tai Ho. Tai Reckless Tai Ho. Tai Ho. Across the ho, we go. Tie ho. Wow, that was kind of embarrassing for us. <laughs> Listen to me. I happen to be an inventor, and I'm, apparently I'm reading for this guy. By all means, please continue. <laughs> After much hard work, I came up with an amazing invention. Something that would impress, impress even the dwarves. It's amazing. None, none of the castle keepers understand what a wonderful invention it is. What is it, you ask? It's called an elevator. 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 Let's talk to this guy. This Who's place this? is for paying customers. If you're not going to order, get out. Uh, let's talk to this person. She looks interesting. Taiho? Oh, that guy. You! I've got you now, you bum! What? What? What is it? What have I d d done? What have you done? Ha! I've got you now! I'll collect... <laughs> Collect from your grave is the debt collector's motto, and you'll never outrun Camille the She Devil. What's this all about? Is she Grievous friend? Well, I have no idea. Come on, give me that money you owe me right now. In cash! I've been looking for you for two months! Oh Grimio, what did you do? Grimio, are are you in debt? Goodness, of course not. Trying to lay out it. <laughs> trying to lie your way out of the situation. Huh? I've got proof. Take a look at this. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, this is the bill for the banquet with, that, with Master Tio. I also owe something at the end. What? You want me to pay this right now? That's right. Immediately. All of it. Let me see, Grimio. <laughs> Listen, we're in a spot of trouble at the moment, and we're short of cash. We are. No. By the way, young lady, you seem to be acquainted with Tai Ho. I know him. Can you tell us where he is? Sure, after you pay up. After all, this is business. How about this, then? We have no money at the moment. But once we find Tai Ho, we might have a way of getting some. As soon as we get some money, we'll pay you back. Like she's never heard that before. Hmm. Hey, you're trying to trick me. Oh no, not at all. Damn these penniless bums. All right, so be it then. I'm sticking with you until you pay up. Woo, Camille joins the party. Ooh. Uh, and we're pretty much out of time at this point, so. I just finish this real quick. Okay, uh, so where can we find Tai Ho? 
He's usually downstairs. Ask the shopkeeper. We sure have recruited an odd one. Okay, so uh, in the next video, we're going to go downstairs and meet Tai Ho. Bye. <laughs>